Hi, my name is Christian and I work for Building Beats. We are a music education nonprofit that teaches music production as well as DJing to students and kids across New York City in after school programs, homeless shelters, and community centers. And today I'm going to show you guys how to make Jersey Club type beats on Soundtrap. So before we kind of kick things off, we have to kind of first discuss what exactly is Jersey Club music. And you probably have heard it before, or you might have heard your friends uh, listening to it on TikTok videos or just on the internet. And you hear like these random just remixes to songs and it kind of has like this very dancey, energetic feel to it. And um, Jersey Club music is kind of like this uh, next generation of um, producers that were influenced by the club music that was coming out of Philadelphia and Baltimore and it's kind of the culmination of the rhythms that they heard in Philly and Baltimore club music while interjecting more sampling and using chops and plugins and different effects to kind of achieve these um, kind of unique uh, remixes to like your favorite songs or really the the beauty in Jersey Club is just the type of samples and the types of uh, loops and sounds that they use to kind of make a song is really what makes it very creative and just very engaging and just, you know, it's kind of like a, a call to the dance floor immediately when you hear that, that Jersey Club rhythm that's so infamous. So we'll go over uh, how to do the Jersey Club rhythm, also uh, how to use certain effects to kind of get that Jersey Club sound and uh, hopefully I could put a beat together with you guys in about 10 minutes. So let's get it started. So for me, I like to start off by writing off the drums. And so I go into the pattern beat maker here. And one drum kit that I specifically like when it comes to kind of achieving that Jersey Club kind of drum sound is uh, the old school tape. And the reason why I like the, the old school tape because it is from like a roll in 808 drum machine but that tape saturation kind of gives it like this extra like pop and this extra warmth and body that I, I feel like a lot of Jersey Club music is at right now where you just have very heavy drums kind of just going uh, throughout the track. And so to do the Jersey Club rhythm, you can kind of just start with a typical uh, four kicks per bar. And this is what it sounds so far. But if we do the Jersey Club rhythm, it's actually like this. But this is really slow though. I feel like modern Jersey Club music, uh, the tempo has been much faster over the years. And so we're gonna just speed that up a bit to about 145. So let's see what that rhythm sounds like now. Now you can kind of see it has like that, <laughs> that bounce, that kind of feel you kind of have to like nod your head and you get like, uh, sometimes uh, in Jersey Club songs, they'll also have the hi-hat going at the same pattern as the kick to kind of accentuate the kick because the kick might have a lot of low end. And so to get that extra punch or that clipping noise, uh, they'll have the hi-hat. And there's variations of this pattern, but this is kind of just the initial pattern from here, you know. Maybe I do that. Then maybe I have, and you know, you can kind of just start it from there. But for right now, we'll just keep it basic. And so after you have like this initial kind of delay rhythm going on with a sample, you can kind of just build it from there. So you can also look at like vocal samples. Kind of hear those a lot. So maybe this one, it won't make it be every other. So let's copy, we'll put it right here. And just do the same process. We can go and add our delay again. Maybe increase the volume a bit, do the same thing, cut out that bass, because we want to save the bass all for the drums. Sorry, 
Sorry, I copy and pasted the alarm clock notice that it bounced now. Always gotta keep track. But it seems like the delay doesn't sound good here. We gotta do. Just do one more vocal. Okay, that's too much melody. Humanoid. Some of what's on soundtrack are pretty fun. See how we can layer this up. And just do the same thing. See if you can find a nice delay to go with it. we start layering our vocals together we could start adding different drum sections if we want to and the quickest way to do that on Soundtrap is by kind of just splitting regions and then changing the drum section so I'm gonna just split this every two bars now we get a bit of a mix up Then we got to start adding uh, more like percussive elements. And usually in Jersey club music, they use a lot of classic uh, dance breaks that you either hear from like uh, sampled records such as James Brown or Lynn Collins or even uh, the Winston Brothers. And so in Soundtrap, they don't have those breaks. And so we got to have to improvise a little bit and figure out what would be used as kind of a substitute for a drum break. And so for me, I kind of looked at the loop section and looked at percussion in particular and kind of was just looking at specific ones to see which one would give me the the best results that I was looking for. And that's really kind of just the beginning of doing the Jersey Club type beat. It's really kind of just really honing in on chops and playing around with different arrangements of those chops and using plugins such as delays and echoes and whatnot to kind of really have the sounds bounce around the mix so it doesn't sound so raw it has a bit of atmosphere it kind of is something that when you hear it in the club it kind of is just like this wall of sound of like chants and alarms and all these different uh kick drum patterns that kind of just get you into that that mood to kind of just dance and i think that's about wraps it up here on how to make a jersey club type beat on soundtrack Again, my name is Christian with Building Beats. If you want more information on other workshops that we have offering, uh, you can check out www.buildingbeats.org. You can also follow us online on these socials. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Look for us at Building Beats. That's one word. And this is Christian again signing off. Peace.